Oh my gosh, I can't believe that we got this in this month's box. Dupe alert. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my boxy charm and ipsy bag to share with you guys. I'm so sorry that this video is going up so late, but I threw out my back this week. So that kind of uh, delayed a few things, but today I could actually get out of bed, so I'm back. <laughs> Anyways, let's dive into the Ipsy bag first. So this is this month's bag and obviously it is Valentine's Day themed. It's so cute. It has like a lot of lipstick marks on it and the zipper is pink and I don't know. I like it. It's cute. So the first thing in the bag is this Feel Renewed Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser. And I actually did try this out for you guys. Surprise, surprise. This was an exfoliating cleanser and I actually did like this. It smells really nice. It smells very fall time, probably because of the pumpkin. It kind of smells like those Glade plugins, like the, I don't know, I think it's called Autumn or something. It kind of smells like that. And it did exfoliate my skin rather well. Um, I felt very fresh and renewed. So I did really like this. The next item in the bag is this Hey Honey Trick and Treat CC Cream. And I got mine in the shade light to medium tone. This was a little too light for me, but it actually did have really good coverage for especially for a CC cream. This CC cream is very oil based. So if you have like super, super oily skin, you may not like this. The thing with lighter foundations and CC creams and stuff, especially for us brown girls, is that it ends up looking ashy. So it's not only the wrong color, but you end up looking gray. So we have to be very careful when picking out our shades because if it is too light, you end up looking dead. So therefore, I probably won't use this by itself. Even though I really like the formula and everything, I would probably mix it in with a darker shade so that I don't look quite as ghostly. But other than that, it was a really great product. It was literally just the shade that was, you know, off. But other than that, the coverage, the formula, everything was perfect. The next item is by Duce, and it is their Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen. This is a felt tip liner, and I have to say, I love this. This is so sharp, like, it, it gives you, like, the most precise line. Don't believe this is matte. Um, there is kind of, like, a sheen to it, but I really do like the, like, how dark it is and how sharp it is. It was pretty easy to create a wing line, so... I love that. And everything that I receive from Duce, I always end up liking. So I'm really glad that they included this brand in this month's bag. This next item is by Daisy and Pearl, and it is their Natural Radiance Booster. Um, it says Seraphine Botanicals. This is 100% vegan, gluten-free, without mineral oil, without parabens, with daisy flower extract and jojoba seed oil, without phthalates and hypoallergenic. Holy crap, that is, sounds really amazing. I really like this package. It has a very light sheen to it and it's like a iridescence to the packaging. It's just plain cardboard, but I really like the finish of it. And then this is the product that's inside. I don't really see a shade name on this, so I don't know if this is their only one. This is the highlighter. It is super pretty. I used it on my eyes, I used it on my face. Um, and it comes with like a little mirror. And this reminds me so much of my Physician's Formula Vegas Strip bronzer. As you can see, they look so similar in the pan. They have that like weird film on top almost. And they have like the same finish, the same texture. The color for this one is a bit different, but I know that they have like different shades for Physician's Formula. If this one's cheaper, then I would totally go for this because they're literally the same exact formula. Dupe alert. And the last item in the bag is by Belle and Argent. Their Atour Cream Lip Color in Albring Dessert. I probably totally butchered that. But <laughs> the packaging is really cool, the outside packaging. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. It has the brand name etched on the packaging, but they don't have the shade name on here, which, I mean, that's what you need, you know? You need to have the shade name on here. There's like a perfect little circle where the sticker should have gone. I really do like the packaging of it. I like the mirrored packaging as well as these like small little cross etchings right here. It's actually really cool. And the shade of the lipstick I really like as well. This is like a warm mauve pink shade and I usually go for these kind of shades when I'm going for a pink lip. So I like it. It's actually a cream finish, so it's not transfer proof, but it's very moisturizing, which I will definitely go for these kind of lipsticks versus 
matte lipsticks during this time of year and I always get excited when I get a lip product in one of my subscriptions. So that was it for Ipsy Bag. Let's move on to BoxyCharm. So this is this month's box and the theme is Afterglow. So the first item in the box is this No Pore Bloom Primer. I like that. This is by Touch and Soul and this is a face primer, obviously. I actually love this. I really love the, those silicone-y type primers that really smooth out your pores. But my favorite so far has been the one from Benefit. But this, I may like more. This is amazing. I really like the scent as well. I wish I had a lotion this scent. This smells very fresh and floral, which is always my go-to scent. I like the the light baby pink shade of the primer. And I don't know, just everything about it. Even the packaging, it's this like frosted glass which I like um, but be careful because this did slip out of my hands a few times so I probably wouldn't travel with this but oh my gosh I love this the next item is by nude sticks and it's their magnetic luminous eye color I got mine in the shade copper foil and this is incredible I absolutely love this this was just so easy to use. I literally used this and just a crease shade and my look was done. Aside from the highlighter that I ended up using at the end, but oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. I love the foil on this and it just glides on so effortlessly. It's just so super foiled and I love foiled eyeshadows. And it's an absolutely beautiful gold shade and you can't go wrong with gold, you know? The only thing that totally sucks about this is that you have to sharpen it. If this was a twist up, it would have been perfect. Maybe in the future, nude sticks will take this into consideration. The next item, oh my gosh, I can't believe that we got this in this month's box. It is a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. I was hoping that I wouldn't like this mascara because it's been so hyped up. This is amazing, you guys. I love the packaging. It feels so weighted. This didn't give my lashes crazy volume, but I also didn't pile it on like I usually do, but it did separate out the lashes. It didn't get clumpy. I now see why it's been so hyped up. It actually is really, really good. So I love it. I'm really glad that we got this in this month's box. The next item in the box is by Pretty Vulgar, and it is their Bronzed Bee Bronzer. I got mine in the shade 113 Bronze Mannequin. Can we just take a moment and appreciate the packaging? Pretty Vulgar always has the most beautiful packaging. It's rose gold, and like I love this like frame detail. It's just, it is absolutely perfect. And then when we go into the bronzer, the bronzer was quite perfect as well. It helped bring down the paleness of the CC cream that I tried on. It's very smooth and buttery and blended out so perfectly. I absolutely love this and it has like, it's not like a dead matte bronzer. It's It has like kind of like a sheen to it, very slightly, but, but there's a sheen which I love. So oh my gosh, I love it. It doesn't make you look like an orange pumpkin. It's just perfect. And the final item in this month's box is by Sol de Janeiro and it's their Coco Cabana cream and i do remember that we got their original um brazilian bum bum cream and i absolutely love this but i guess this is their new one i'm not sure this has pretty much the same exact formula as that lotion but it has a different scent and i don't know i i love the scent and i hate the scent i love it because it smells so delicious like you just want to eat it but i don't know if i really want to smell like this it's i don't know when i smell it it reminds me of a movie theater you know like it's straight up like popcorn like really buttery popcorn mixed in with a little bit of the movie candy that you buy oh my gosh it smells exactly like that when i smell it i think of the movie theaters i do really like the moisture that it brings to my skin it's super nice it doesn't feel sticky or oily or anything like that but i, I don't want to smell like a movie theater i'll probably use this right before bed or if i'm on a diet and starving this would be my go-to all right guys so that's it for my ipsy and boxy charm unboxings i hope you guys enjoyed i couldn't even do an ipsy versus boxy or even pick out my favorite items because everything in both subscription boxes were incredible they actually hit it out of the park both of them
So what did you guys get in your subscription boxes this month? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!